So in this video, we are going to take up the third problem of cubic spline interpolation or the cubic spline function. So obtain the cubic spline in, and the approximation for the following defined function. Here also we have taken what three uh, four points, right? Four points we have taken. We have to calculate f of what one point five. This is the same procedure we have to follow. We have done in the previous uh, the video also. So here first we have to define this one. The starting value of x is x naught. The next one, the next two, the next three. The corresponding f of x will be f zero, f naught, f one, f two, and f three. Okay. So let us proceed with the first step. First, you have to define the n value. So n value, how to calculate? See the x terms. X or f of x is the same thing. Corresponding terms. How many numbers are there? Zero, one, two, three. 1 2 3 4 you will count like 1 2 3 4 4 numbers are there 4 points are there the thing is that you have to count from what is 0 so it will be directly it is given here 0 1 2 3 so i am just telling 0 1 2 3 so totally n value till how much it is there 3 is there start with n equal to 0 1 2 3 total 4 points right so n is done now what is h value h value is the the interval bit interval if you see it is 0 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 Three intervals are there, four points are there. So the width of this one, the gap between the interval is how much? One, right? Two minus one, one minus zero, three minus two, it is one. So equal on the interval only they will be, right? So h is equal to one. That is defined. Next step is to define f zero is equal to zero. That is the initial approximation we are doing. And f n is also equal to zero. What is f n? M n. M n is basically n value is how much here 3 so m3 is 0 simple thing. so this two are this is the starting value this is the ending value m0 is the starting value m3 is the ending value in between what all terms are left out m1 and m2 is left out this value we don't know correct for that purpose we are going to use one formula to find out m1 and m2 so let us do that that is step number two so we are going to apply this formula here you can see here you can observe that i has come into the picture what is i then so remember this formula whenever you are applying you are going to apply i is equal to 1 till n minus 1 what is n here 3 so it will be 3 minus 1 what is 3 minus 1 2 so starting with i is equal to 1 you will go till 2 that means next value itself so you are going to substitute here in this formula i is equal to 1 and i is equal to 2 that's it you will be getting m1 and m2 so let us do that i'll start with m i is equal to 1 first so what will happen to the formula let us see 1 minus 1 is 0 so m0 plus 4 m1 plus m2 is equal to 6 by h value if it's a square means 1 square is 1 itself that you can write 6 then what is that f2 minus 2f1 plus f0 or f0 now what is m0 we have already considered it as 0 so directly you write it as 0 what is left out 4m1 plus m2 is equal to 6 times now what is f2 value f3 value all the values you have written here so f2 is what 5 5 minus 2 times of f1 is 4 plus f0 value is 1 so how much you are getting 5 minus 8 plus 1 which is minus 2 correct so it is equal to minus 12 so you can write the first equation as 4 m1 plus m2 is equal to minus 12 next i am going to substitute i is equal to 2 also so what will have to happen to the the formula so it will become m1 plus 4 times of m2 plus m3 is equal to 6 times f2 minus 2f2 sorry mistake has happened which is f3 minus 2f2 plus f1 right now m3 is 0 we have considered already the assumption so m1 plus 4 m2 is equal to how much 6 times of f3 value we have got how much here 6 okay minus 2 times of f2 value is how much 5 plus f1 value is how much 4 so how much we are getting 6 minus 10 plus 4 
which is nothing but 0. So, 0 into 6 is 0. So, m1 plus 4 times of m2 is equal to 0. You have got this is the second equation, right? So, we are going to solve the first and second equation. You can use the calculator if you want. Otherwise, we will go with the traditional method, nothing but elimination method. So, you can go for substitution also, but elimination will be better. So, I am going to write both the equation. As we know, in elimination method, we have to remove one variable, right? So, m1 and m2 are the variables. In the first equation, m1 coefficient, if you see, it is 4, here it is 1. Here it is 1 for m2, here it is 4 for m, m2, right? Different, different other. So, in order to do the elimination, we have to make the coefficient as same for one variable so that we can eliminate. So, what I am going to do, m1, I'm, m1, I am going to eliminate. For that, I have to bring what 4 here. So, multiply this entire equation the second equation by what 4. So, what will happen? The first equation will remain as it is. So, second equation entire thing multiplication by 4, 4 m1 plus 16 m2 is equal to 0, right? Now, if I do the elimination, that means subtraction, so, this and this will get cancelled. 4 minus 4 is 0. Here it is 1 minus 16. It is minus 15. So, minus 15 m2 is equal to minus 12 I am getting here. So, what will happen to the m2 value? m2 value is 12 by 15 which is 0 0.8. 0 0.8. So, m2 value what? Now, I need m1 value also. So substitute in any of the equation. I will take first equation. So, 4 times of m1 plus m2 value just now I got 0 0.8 is equal to minus 12. So, m1 value becomes how much? minus 12 minus 0 0.8 divided by 4 which is minus 3.2. So, I got m1 value also. So, you can write that starting approach, uh, starting value is m0 0. m1 we just now got minus 3.2. m2 we got it as 0 0.8 and m3 we approximated as 0. So, we have done with the second step where we had to find out the m value. So, all the four values we got from 0 to mn. mn means m3. Everything is done. Now, going for the second, third step, we need to find out f of 1.5. For that, we need to find what cubic spline function. So, how many cubic spline function will be formed? It depends on the intervals over here. So, how many intervals are there? 0 to 1, first interval. 1 to 2, second. 2 to 3, third. So, how many intervals are there? three intervals are there. So, there will be three cubic spline function. For that spline function, we have one separate formula. Let us see that. So, our second, uh, the third step is to find out the cubic spline function for each interval given in the question. So, here let us see the, uh, the formula first. So, here remember this is the formula in which you can again see i has come into the picture. i you can see i, right. So, what we have to substitute in place of i? Very simple. Here, in the previous case, what I said, the second case where we had calculated the m value, I said starting from i is equal to 1, you will go till n minus 1. That's why I went till 3 minus 1, sorry, 3 minus 1 is 2. So, i is equal to 1 and i is equal to 2 i substituted the, in the formula. But in this case, remember, it will start from i is equal to 1, that is correct. But it will go till n, not n minus 1. So, it is start from i is equal to 1, then 2 will be there, then 3 will be there. Because n value is what in this particular question? It is 3. So, i is equal to 1, 2, 3. So, 3 functions as I said, it will be formed using 3 substitution. That means, if I substitute i is equal to 1, it will be for the first interval, i is equal to 2 for the second interval, and i is equal to 3 for the third interval. That's all. Okay. i is equal to 1, you will be getting the function in the first interval of the question. So, x first interval was 0 to 1. So, in this we will be getting the cubic spline function. i is equal to 1 you have to substitute, right? Simple thing. So, in this function, in this formula, I am going to substitute i is equal to 1. I am going to name it as f1 of x so that I can differentiate x. Always remember here h value is what 1 in this question. So, directly you write 6. Then what is there? It will be x1 minus x the whole cube m 1 minus 
zero uh, one minus one is zero plus x minus x one minus one again zero the whole cube into m zero so it is m one right i value is one okay done then plus next one by x x is again one so no need to write let us focus on this now this part is same as this part remember so it is directly x one minus x okay into one minus one is zero so f zero minus one by six x square is one m again m zero this and this will be same m f zero means m zero will come plus now this particular part is same as this particular part so it is x minus x naught so this i am leaving because one by h is nothing but one by one zero or one by one is one okay into f one that means i have to do f one Minus one by six into m one, f one m one. So this particular substitution that. Now what I'm, uh, what I need, I need here, x not, x one, f not, f one, m not, m one. So totally I need what six values. That particular values I'll just note it down. I have got here what f1 of x the function final function I have got. The thing is that next we have go for i is equal to two, where the interval will be from one to two. So now we have got the second cubic function also. Now we have to go for the i is equal to three. We have to substitute so that you will get the function between two to three. Okay. Here we have got the final function also f3 of x, which x lies between what to two to three. Now we have asked in the question, so all the three substitution has been finished. Now we have asked in the question what f of 1.5. Now you have to tell me that x belongs to which interval when 1.5 is there. So it belongs to one to two, right? So the second interval where we substituted i value as what two. That interval the cubic function is there, cubic spline function. There we have to substitute what x value as 1.5. So if you see here, i is equal to 2, interval 1 to 2. So there we use f 2x, that particular function, this particular function. So in this function, if we substitute x equal to, so that means we have to calculate f of 1.5. Now the thing is that 1.5 belongs to which interval 1 to 2, right? So we have to going to substitute f 2 of x, and that's directly we are going to substitute. So f of 1.5 becomes there is substitution here in place of x 1.5 it becomes 4.72 the answer of this one will be what 4.72.